Hello everybody, how are you doing? Uh, I wanna let you know right up front that this video is not going to be one of my normal videos. It's gonna be a talkie, okay? Uh, I've got some talking points I wanna go over. Uh, things like the Mid-Ohio Valley Pin Turner Gathering, a blank sale I'm preparing to have, uh, I've got some tools for sale, uh, and uh, the demo that I'll be doing in Mid-Ohio Valley are the four things that I really wanted to talk about in this video. So if you're not interested in any of that, don't waste your time. Go ahead, click off, I understand completely, and uh, go watch something that uh, is a little more appealing to you. The first thing I'd like to talk about tonight is the Mid-Ohio Valley Pin Turners Gathering. Now, this is my favorite show. I look forward to September every year so that I can go to the show. And a lot of guys say, oh yeah, but you know, it's kind of far away, it's in West Virginia, blah, blah, blah. I've heard it all. I drive six and a half hours to go to the show. That's how much I wanna be there. I spend three nights in a hotel there. The show is two days. I get there a day early and I stay a day late. So it is really worth it. The show is fantastic. I've got some notes here. I'd like to tell you a little bit about it. The show happens in Vienna, West Virginia. Now, if you wanna know more about that, you can go, the website needs some updating. They're, they're working on getting all the details together but you could go to movptg.com and you can register on the website. It's $35 for both days. Uh, or you can go, if you're on Facebook, I believe that uh, you can go to the Facebook page, which is also movptg. And I'm gonna put both of these in the uh, description, the video description. So don't worry about remembering all of that. It'll be easier to go down there. You can copy it, paste it into your browser and uh, jump right over there. Uh, I think the Facebook page, I don't personally use Facebook, but I believe Jason is a fairly, Jason Rose, the guy who puts the show on, is a fairly heavy Facebook user. Uh, so if you go out there and you like the page, he will occasionally post these video updates. He did one last night and he tells what's going on, what prizes they're going to have, what, what they're going to do at the show. They're usually 10 minutes long, maybe 15, and it's live. You can watch it live. And then of course it stays out there for a while. And, um, if you go to the main page on uh, Facebook, you can you can get all the details about the show as, as they're coming in. Um, some of the things that happen at the show, demonstrations. There are going to be hopefully 10 demonstrators this year. I think Jason has seven or eight lined up right now. He's looking for a couple of extra. There'll be five on Saturday, five on Sunday is, is kind of the hope. If we get more than that, he may be able to work them in. I'm not sure how, how all that works. He does the logistics. But he's looking for two more demonstrators. Now, if you if you just want to come and turn a pin, he's looking for something a little different because everybody has seen that. So they want something kind of different. So if you've got a, a bizarre material, uh, you know, some Fordite or something different that you want to turn, or if you turn something, maybe you turn pipes or pipe tampers, something a little different than a standard pin, Jason would love to talk to you. And, and if you don't know how to get in touch with Jason, you can go to either one of those, the website or the Facebook channel, and you can DM him on either of them, or you can get in touch with me and I'll put you in touch with Jason. If you are a demonstrator at the show, you get your registration paid for, so they waive the $35. Um, it's it's fun. I, I'm gonna be doing a demo myself this year. First time I've demoed at the show, and uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about that at the end of the video, uh, what I'll be doing. And I hope you find it interesting, and I hope you consider coming. In between the demonstrations, or if there happens to be a demonstration that maybe you've seen before or you're not interested in, you can go to the vendor hall. Now, they have this huge area. Uh, this place is you th that they have this, they do weddings there and large events. So it's this incredibly large area that will be filled with vendors. Vendors that sell pretty darn much anything you can think of related to pin turning. Blanks, kits, tools, finishes, all kinds of custom stuff, custom blanks. You will not believe what you are going to see in this vendor hall. And I do recommend bringing your checkbook because guess what? You're going to find a lot of stuff you need. I know that for a fact because every year I leave with several bags full of stuff and it's amazing. And you see me come back and show the haul that I, I had at the show. And I mean, it's if you're into pin turning, you need to go to a show like this because it's not like going to Rockler or going to Woodcraft. They got a few things. This entire show is dedicated to your hobby. And I guarantee you will have a great time on the vendor floor. You'll love the demos 
and you'll meet and make a lot of great friends. It is an awesome time, so I highly recommend considering going for just those two things. But you know what? There's a lot more. Let me tell you. This year, Jason has changed it up a little bit, and your vendors will actually be doing, well, maybe not all of them, but they've been invited to do little small demos at their table. So let's say they have a special blank or they have a, a product that they use. They'll be able to demo it right there in front of you, show you the product, show you how it works. So that they've never done that before. It's pretty exciting. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it because you, you'll get to see you'll get to see the items that you're interested in being used real time. You'll be able to interact and ask questions and learn about them. And hopefully it will help you make a good sound purchasing decision. So if the demonstrations and the sales floor and making all those new friends who share your passion is not enough for you. And that's only 35 bucks for that. That sounds like a lot, but you know what? That is not a lot of money. You will love every second of the show. They've even got more. And let me tell you about a couple of other things. Jason has something called kit in a barrel and blank in a barrel. And when you come to the show, be sure to bring a pin kit and be sure to blank bring a blank. If you don't, then go into the sales floor, buy a pin kit, buy a blank. You take them to this big barrel, you drop one in each barrel, and you get a ticket for each barrel. At the end of the show, the, the last day, they draw that ticket. Whoever has that number gets that entire barrel of blanks or that entire barrel of kits. And, I mean, that's amazing. So definitely, definitely participate in that. It is awesome, and if you win you're gonna be really happy. And you'll be turning for a long time because there's always a ton of kits and a ton of uh, blanks in those barrels. Jason also has it set up to where you can win some pretty darn amazing prizes. Let me tell you about this. When you register for the show, you get a ticket. Now that ticket goes into a drawing for some big prizes. When I say big prizes, let's say there's a couple of lathes this year and there's a bandsaw. Now, that is what I know about right now. I spoke to Jason last night I can't really say anything, he asked me not to, but he's working on a deal to get some other really amazing prizes. Not only do you have the door prize for your registration, but he'll sell tickets and you can, you know, you can buy however many you want, okay? During the show, there are periods of time where he'll stop and he'll get on the microphone, he'll say, hey, let's, let's draw for some prizes. And they give away some awesome stuff. Um, I, I can't tell you what all will be there, the vendors, that are coming, they all donate to the show. Jason will go out and, and get other vendors, other companies that are in the pin turning or the turning community to donate. And he always has some of the most amazing prizes that you can win. And I mean, that alone, I mean, you, you may walk out of there, you could walk out of there with a lathe and it costs you 35 bucks to go to the show and you walk out with a lathe. I mean, it could happen. What else have we got? Okay, the last thing I want to talk about for the show is um, the very first year he had this show, we had 150 people show up in a bingo hall. It was a small building. The next year it, it grew. It, it, it probably close to doubled in size. And he ended up having to go to this, this venue that, like I said, they host weddings and things like that. So it's a, a very nice, very large venue uh, right next door to a hotel. It's a Wingate Hotel, so it's a nice hotel. Um, COVID hit and the numbers went boom. We lost the show for one year, unfortunately. Uh, last year, we came back and we only had about 150 people who attended the show. And that's really sad. We were having 300 plus before COVID. Um, I really want to stress to you guys, I mentioned earlier, I'm driving six and a half hours to be there. I know guys, and I say guys loosely, I know women and men both who drive very long distances to come to this show. And they do it every year because it is that amazing and that good. I want you to stop and take a serious think about this, okay? Go look up Vienna, West Virginia. Go on the website, go on the uh, Facebook page, get the address of the venue, and then I want you to put it in your phone and look up how many miles is it, you know? And think about that. Yeah, it's a lot. I know gasoline's up right now, right? I, and I know, you know, you might have to spend the night in a hotel, and, and that's not always super cheap, right? But Think about what you get in return. You're going to meet people who are as passionate about your hobby as you are. How many of those people do you have in your neighborhood, in your in your club, you know, at, at your work? Probably not many. 
That's why I love this show. That's why I drive six and a half hours. And that's why I spend three nights in a hotel because I want to hang out with my friends. And that's exactly what's there. Everybody there knows you. They know your name. They're your friend. It is, I don't know. There's just something about it that's magical, okay? So I want you to think about it. And, and that's the last I'm going to say about the show except, well, I do want to say if we don't get the numbers back up, one of two things is going to happen. Either the show is going to have to downsize, which stinks because that means we can't get the same number of vendors. And without this, you know, the vendors, the vendors are awesome. They bring so much to the show with all of the, of the items they bring. And you don't pay shipping on that stuff. Think about what you're saving on that. You can buy from 10 different vendors and never pay a dime for shipping. Or the second option is the show may go away. I don't want to see that happen. I do not want to see that happen. So really, if you love turning as much as I love turning, think about it. Take, you know, take your time, think about it, and talk with your spouse. Maybe your spouse is a turner. You know, talk with your friends. Maybe you got a buddy who likes to turn, and the two of you can get together and, and come to the show. Consider coming. If you're worried, I know COVID is still a huge concern for a lot of people, right? If you're concerned about that, please, you can wear a mask, okay? Bring a face mask. Nobody's going to pick on you. Nobody's going to say anything. That is your right. Wear that mask. We would rather have you there spending time with us, meeting us, talking, and enjoying yourself. So wear a mask. Get some Purell. Put a little bottle in your pocket. When you shake my hand, Purell your hands off. I'm not going to be offended. You know what? It's. It, I would rather have you there. It means that much to me. So seriously, think about it. So that's the last I'm going to say about the show until the end of this video. I'm going to talk a little bit about the demo I'm doing. So let me talk about a couple of other things. I said I wasn't going to talk about the show, but I am going to mention something. If you're coming to the show or if you're willing to drive to Southern Indiana to make a pickup, I'm not going to ship this stuff. You know, I'm not going to take it anywhere. You got to come to me or you got to go to the show. I have some items for sale. I, I started another Instagram page. It's called the RJB Wood Turner Store, all one word, no spaces. I'm going to put a link in the description. And I have a bunch of things that, tools and items in the shop that I'm not using. It, and I needed to clean my shop out. So I said, you know what? There are people out there who can use this. I'm not using it. Let, let me pass this along. So I'm selling some items. If you go to the, go to the Instagram, uh, and I, I decided to use Instagram instead of a, a video because you can just go to the first page and kind of glance at the photos and see what it is, you can click on it. And there's a 10 or 20 second video, tells you about it, uh, tells, you the, tells you the cost. And um, if you're interested, just comment in that video and say, I, I want this. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll document your name and that you want that item. And I'll take that video down so nobody else you know, tries to get it from you. And I'll even reply and let you know that you've got it. And I'll bring those those items to the show. It is a cash only. So if, if you buy something and it's five bucks, bring me a, bring me a fiver or five ones or Hell, bring me bring me 500 pennies. I don't care. Money's money, right? Um, but uh, and I'm doing this to number one, kind of clear out my shop and pass some tools along to people that can use them. But number two, it's going to kind of help fund my trip. You know, uh, anything I make will pay for gas or meals or uh, you know, uh, uh, hotel stay, whatever, something I might buy. Which uh, is pretty sad, and it's selling a bunch of stuff and then turning around and buying a bunch more. But hey, that that's how I do it, right? <laughs> So consider going over and looking at that. And while you're there, like the RJB Woodturner store. Now, I want you to know I'm not following anybody back, okay? And the reason why, it's, it's strictly there to sell items. I use my personal RJB Woodturner Instagram, and I'll follow you back. Uh, I do have some conditions on that, and we can talk about it if you're interested later. But I want you to follow that channel because I'm going to be having a blank sale. And let me grab something and show you what there's going to be at my blank sale. There's well over a hundred blanks in this box. I have no idea how many, but I've got uh, a whole bunch of twist blanks. Some of them have a uh, dowel rod in the center so you can drill them to any size you want. Some of them have a uh, 2764, so they're for the Sierra. And I've got a bunch of triangle blanks up there. All of these are going to be put out on that Instagram channel. Now, before I put them out there, I've got to film them. <laughs> so what'll happen is, and it won't, it won't be all at once. I'll film them and then over the course of the day, I'll begin dropping blanks out there. And I'll tell you the terms of the sale in a minute, but um, I can't do it really fast or in bulk because I learned the hard way with my tool sale. I was posting, I recorded all my videos. I was like, post, 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 post. Instagram shut me down. They called me a spammer. 
I wasn't spamming because people were coming to me and they were interested in it. I wasn't sending it out. But I found out that you have to wait a few minutes between posting. So my plan is to record all of these and document them. I'll give them each a number. So that way, if somebody replies and says, I want this one, they're the first reply. I go in there and I put, you know, Jane wants number 36. And, and that way I make sure Jane gets it. And I'm going to tell you the, the uh, rules behind the sale here in a minute. But all of these are going to be, and there's a few other blanks that I have, custom blanks I've made, that are going to appear on that Instagram channel, the RJB Woodturner Store, in the description, uh, starting very soon, once I get a chance to film them. Hang on, I want to tell you about uh, the terms of the sale. Every one of the blanks you saw in that bucket was made by me in this shop. And the plan is to sell them for $15 per blank. Now, I got, I've got to apologize to my international friends. It cost about $18 to ship a blank overseas, out of the country. So that is just ridiculous. And I'm sorry that, that um, shipping has gotten so out of hand, but it literally will cost you more than the price of the blank for me to ship it to you. So uh, I am not offering uh, anything out of the continent. I'm gonna keep it all local so that we don't have, cause I just, it's not, it's not fair, right? I mean, I hate it, but uh, shipping has just gotten crazy. The way it's gonna work continental US is if you wanna buy a blank, I can ship anywhere in the United States, I'm gonna charge you $5 shipping. Now, let's say that you're looking through the Instagram and you say, oh, well, I like this blank as well. And you're going to put a little comment in there, I want this one as well, okay? If you're the first one to comment, I'm gonna document it on my list. You've got two blanks. Shipping is still only $5. If you buy three blanks, you're gonna pay $5 shipping. If you buy 25 blanks, you're gonna pay $5 shipping, one shipping cost, period. Once you've paid it, anything else you buy is no additional charge. If there's an additional shipping charge, I'm gonna cover that. That's the way I do it. Uh, so I kind of mentioned a little bit how it's gonna work. You'll, you'll have a little, I'll put a video out there of each blank, it'll have a number on it, number one, and I'll rotate it so you can see 360 degrees of the blank. I'll show you both ends, and then I will post that video to the RJB Woodturner store. If you look at it, you know the terms of the sale. I'll try to put them in the uh, in the description of the video as well. You simply want that blank, you comment, I'll take it or I want it, I want this one, whatever. You're the first person to comment, that blank becomes yours. And what I'll do is, it'll take me a while to post them because there's a hundred of them, right? So over the course of a couple of days, I'll post them. And as soon as they're all posted, I'll go back and I'll start taking them down and as I'll document who's getting what and I'll start taking them down so those of you who come in a little later don't have to look at a bunch of stuff that's already been sold. Um, I probably will wait. I'll set a date. Like, let's say I decide to do this on Saturday. I'll probably let it go to the following weekend. You know, I'll be cleaning it up all the time, documenting and removing, and then I'll ship everything. That way, if you go in and you look at something and you buy two or three blanks and you decide, you know, I really like that, that blue one. I want to go back and get that. And you come in three days later and buy it. I'll still have it documented and you still only pay one shipping cost. And then on the following weekend, I'll, I'll box everything up. I'll send out uh, invoices via PayPal. Everything's gonna be done by PayPal. Uh, you'll get an invoice for listing your blanks with their cost and a $5 shipping fee. I'll, email, I'll, uh, inst I'll um, PayPal that to you. As soon as you pay it, as soon as I have that in my account and Instagram sends me a note, um, that goes into the post office box. And next time I go to the post office, which will be very soon a day, probably I'll do that on the Monday after. Uh, it'd just be simpler that way because it'll probably be Saturday and Sunday for me to get everything boxed up and PayPal and all of that. I'll take it straight to the post office, drop it in the mail to you, and you should have it within a couple of days. I will let you know on this channel ahead of time when that sale is going to be. So that way you can kind of be looking out for it. You don't have to just rely on you know, seeing it. I want everybody to know so people can go in and be watching. So that's enough about that. Um, the last thing I really wanted to talk about is my demo for the Mid-Ohio Valley Pin Turner Gathering. Um, I got contacted by Jason Rose and he said, hey Bob, would you like to do a demo for us this year? He goes, maybe you could do a segmented pin or something. I said, yeah, I'll do a demo. And I thought about it a little bit and contacted him back and I said, you know, Jason, I don't want to turn do a segmenting, segmented pin. I'm doing that on my channel. I don't want to do, I want to do something different. So I'm going to do a video that is, that is titled, What Could Go Wrong? And there's a small little subtitle under there and other shop tips. And what my video is going to be, and I can't really show you because I don't have it out here, 
um, and I said video, but what my demo is going to be is all of the tips I use for repairing pins when there is a problem. All of the different things that go wrong when you're trying to uh, put a blank together and make a pin that I could think of, I've put into a demo and I've got props and I'm going to demonstrate those fixes live in hopes that some pin turners, some, some of the stuff, you, most of it you might have seen on my channel, but some people don't really watch me and I'm not that vain to think that everybody does. So I'm hoping some of the folks there who don't, and even some who do, it'll be a refresher, will enjoy seeing, hey, when, when something goes wrong, I might be able to fix it. So I'm gonna do a video on what could go wrong is the title, and it's about anything I could think of that might go wrong in the shop and explaining how to fix it. That's all I've got, guys. This video got a little longer than I wanted, but I'm, I'm pretty excited about the show and the sales and, and my demo and everything going on, and I really wanted to share it with you guys. And uh, I'm sorry I've been out of the shop. I've had some, my family, I've been busy with my family lately, which to me comes first, shop comes second. All of you guys understand that. And, and I, I know you do because I hear from you all the time. Uh, and next week's gonna be a busy week with the family. But then things start should start calming down a little bit and I should start getting a lot more shop time and I'll get back to some of the things I'm working on. But with that being said, I wanna tell you that I truly appreciate you joining me. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon. Have a great evening and come to the show. Come shake my hand, come say hello. Let's chat, let's meet each other. Buy some cool stuff, enjoy some demos, win some prizes. Come on, guys, don't let me down. Let's make this the best show of all of them. Take care. Have a great evening.